Hi, let's suppose that you perform an experiment which involves a resistance connected to a battery and then you change the voltage of the battery. Let's suppose first you take 1 volt, then 2 volt, then 3 volt and on and on and with each voltage you measure the current. So here in this resistor circuit, the ammeter measures the current, the voltmeter measures the voltage. So if you gather a set of data points by changing voltage and then finding out current and then you use these data points to plot them in some kind of a graph. So let's suppose the voltage is x-axis, y current is in the y-axis and your data points are scattered around in this particular manner. Now you know from Ohm's law that voltage and current have a linear relationship. That means voltage as it increases, the current should also increase with the same proportion. So therefore you're surprised. You're surprised because if you look at your data points, the, your data points connect to each other in some kind of a zigzag pattern. You expected a straight line, but you are getting a zigzag pattern. Why is that? This is because uh, your data points or your observation points have errors in them. Their errors could be because of instrumental errors. Maybe the measuring devices do not have sufficient resolving power. The errors can also be because of human errors. Maybe you made slight mistakes uh, along the uh, performing the experiments. So the question is, if your data points contain these kind of errors, which makes these points deviate from the straight line that this kind of a circuit is following. So how do you obtain the curve that best represents your set of data points. You cannot just draw, take your pen and just draw a line randomly like that because this is just guesswork. You need some tool, you need some method which will give you a mathematical way of determining the line which best represents these set of data points which minimizes the errors involved. So. To do that, we are going to discuss what is known as the least square method. So least square method is a very popular method through using which we can uh, draw some kind of a curve which best fit a set of data points to minimize the errors associated with your set of data points. So let's get straight into it. So here, let's suppose that I have a general set of observation points, all right, or data points where the independent variable is X and the dependent variable is Y. So these are known, all right, you have these data points, so these are known what you do not know what you want to find out is this line and what is the equation associated with this line okay this is the this is what we are interested in the line which best approximates your data point and what is the equation associated with the, your uh, uh, line so let's suppose the equation associated is just we give it a general name fx and if fx is the function associated with your line then for each point x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 the corresponding uh, values will be fx1 f of x2 f of x3 f of x4 and f of x5 now what uh, uh, we want to find here is that we want to find the error associated with this fx and the actual observation point so let's suppose for x1 the actual observation point is here but f x1 is basically here so the error is this much so this is an error let's suppose this is E1 okay so we can say that E1 which represents the error between the actual observation point and the point that should fit into your uh, uh, straight line best fit line is known as the error all right so here I say that error at x is equal to x1 is nothing but E1 which is equal to y1 minus f of x1 all right similarly for every single point you will have errors associated with those points so for example at x is equal to x2 you will have some error e2 y2 minus fx2 and for all other points so let's suppose at any general point x is equal to xi you will have some error ei is equal to yi minus f of xi now now that these e1 e2 e3 basically represent the errors associated with each individual point so these are the errors associated with each individual point. What do we do or what method do we follow to find out the line that minimizes these errors? Now these errors can be positive, it can be negative, it can be positive, it can be negative. So I cannot just add up these errors because uh, then positive errors and negative errors will cancel each other out and that would not give us any meaningful information. What I want to do is I want to find the square of the errors. Okay, I want to find the square of the errors because the square of the errors are always going to be positive. So I'm going to define this quantity. Okay, let's suppose this quantity quantity is capital E and then this capital E is the square of the errors and then you sum it over the entire observation data 
of x1 to xn so for i is going from 1 to n if you have n number of data points you sum up the errors corresponding to each point uh, you sum up the square of the errors corresponding to each point and at this is the quantity i define as capital e now this is the quantity that is going to be positive and the further this line is from this data point so if i uh, plot a line here then the greater is going to be this particular quantity for this line so i want to create a line or i want to create a curve which minimizes this particular quantity okay so i want to minimize capital e uh, to find out the best fit line so this least square method basically gives us an idea of how i can minimize this particular quantity which is the summation of the square of the errors so my objective or the so the objective to follow in the least square method is to find out this particular quantity capital E which is basically the summation of the square of the errors and to minimize it okay the important thing is that I want to minimize this so how do I minimize this to minimize it first let it let's write it down properly so summation is from i is equal to 1 to 1 what is EI EI is nothing but yi minus f of xi all right so i want to minimize this but before i minimize it i have some expectation from the nature of this line okay i either say that the line is a straight line or i say that the line is some kind of a curved line uh, which has a parabolic relationship or something else okay so i need to decide what nature of a line it is so i'm going to do the derivation for a straight line all right so let's assume that our best fit line is a straight line so if i want to uh, fit a curve of a straight line in this set of data points then i can assume that fx can have some kind of a relationship uh, with x as ax plus b where a is nothing but the slope all right and b is nothing but the intercept all right and uh, x of course is the set of data points that you get so fx plus b represents a straight line if you want to uh, best fit uh, some other kind of a curve maybe a parabolic curve in that case you will have to use some other equation fx is equal to let's suppose ax square plus bx plus c okay but i'm not going to do for parabolic or uh, some other polynomial expression let us do or devote this video for a straight line case so if i do it for a straight line then what does capital e become capital e simply becomes summation i is equal to 1 to n y i minus a x i plus b whole square so i already told you that this represents the summation of the total amount of errors associated with your observation data and i want to minimize this how do i minimize this now y i and x i represent your observational data what is the unknown here the unknown is a all right i don't know what a is i don't know what is the slope of the straight line i don't know what b is i don't know the intercept so a and b are the unknown so i'm going to minimize it with respect to a and b so i'm going to say that del of capital e by del of a is equal to zero and i'm going to say that del of capital e by del of b is equal to zero this is what i'm going to do if you use some other equation in uh, this f of x so if you said fx is equal to ax square plus bx plus c in that case you'll have to minimize with respect to a b and c but since in this case i've taken a straight line so if i assume that fx is equal to ax plus b so i'm minimizing only with respect to a and b separately so let's minimize it with respect to a and b and see what we get so first time i try to i say that del of del a summation of i is equal to 1 to n y i minus a x i plus b whole square is equal to 0 to minimize i say this is equation is true and then if i find a derivative with respect to a for this equation then i can simply write the summation i take outside then this is square so i can write 2 here y i minus a of x i plus b and because i'm differentiating with respect to a there's a term associated with the multiplicative factor of minus x so minus x i all right so now 2 goes to the right hand side becomes 0 minus 1 goes to the right hand side becomes 0 i am left with summation of i is equal to 1 to n uh, so if i multiply x i y i get x i y i minus a of x i square uh, plus um, no sorry minus b of x i and then this is equal to zero yes so if i write it properly if i take these two terms to the right hand side and then i flip the equation i simply end up getting a summation of x i square plus b summation of x i is equal to summation of x i y i and this summation goes from one to 
n okay so this is the first equation that i have obtained this is the first equation that i have obtained uh, by uh, trying to minimize the uh, summation of the square of the errors with respect to a now let's try it uh, so this is the first equation i have obtained let's try it for the second case so if i try to uh, do a derivative with respect to b then in that case i get yi minus a of xi plus b square is equal to 0 however here the derivative is with respect to b okay so if i do this uh, uh, derivative then I can take the summation outside then I can again write 2 here which is because the power is 2 here so yi minus a of xi plus b okay and then b has a multiplicative factor of minus 1 so I write minus 1 here okay now so again 2 goes to right hand side becomes 0 minus 1 goes to right hand side becomes 0 I am left with uh, if I take this uh, so I am left with basically summation of i is equal to 1 to n and then I get yi minus a x i minus b is equal to 0 if I take these two terms to the right hand side and then I flip the equation I simply get summation of so a x i i is equal to 1 to n then again I get plus b okay summation of i is equal to 1 to n 1 all right so if you add 1 n number of times what do you get you simply get n here so I can just write n and this becomes summation from i is equal to 1 to n y i so this is the second equation that you get so basically you get these two equations let's suppose equation number one and equation number two which will minimize uh, the sum of the square of the errors with respect to a and b separately so let's write down these two equations so these are a system of uh, a system of linear equations so how do you solve a system of linear equations so what we can do is we can just convert the system of linear equations into matrix form all right how do you do that you can simply convert this system of linear equations into matrix form so basically here xi square is known all right xi is the set of data points corresponding to the independent variable and xi square represents the square of these x values and the summation of that so xi square xi xi and xi yi yi these are all known the only unknowns are a and b okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write it in terms of matrix multiplication so in the first uh, uh, matrix uh, i can say that this consists of xi square xi and then xi summation and then n and then i can write a b is equal to summation of xi yi and then summation of y so this can this basically represents so let's suppose this here uh, uh, represents some kind of a matrix this represents another kind of matrix and this represents another kind of matrix all right so let's suppose that uh, uh, this represents the matrix a all right this is known this contains the observation data points which is known and this again con this is also b which is also known and this is let's suppose I name it as x because x is unknown so if I do that then simply this uh, matrix equation simply becomes an equation that looks like a x is equal to b how do you solve this solution of this simply is x is equal to a inverse of b that's all so if you take inverse of a and multiply with b then you get x so where x1 is nothing but a which is a slope and x2 is nothing but b which is the intercept so basically our challenge is to construct a matrix of this particular uh, fashion and this particular fashion and then uh, use this equation to obtain the solutions of a and b here all right so that we can easily do you can easily do it either uh, on your own hand using pen or paper or you can program uh, uh, some kind of a uh, uh, you can make a program where you find the inverse of a and then you multiply it with b to obtain the values on the slope and the intercept all right so i have actually created a program here using scilab you can you can do it with any other program you can do in matlab you can do in c plus plus you can do in python where i have given a set of data points so these are my data points corresponding to x these are my data points corresponding to y that this here represents the sum of x basically the summation of x all right and this represents the summation of y this represents the summation of x y this represents the summation of x x square all right and this is the uh, matrix that i've defined as a this is a matrix i've defined as b and this is a matrix that i just now mentioned to be x here i've written this as p and this is x okay if i run this 
then I end up getting uh, these okay this graph so this red circle here represents my data points but this dotted black line represents the best fit line corresponding to these red data points i have also obtained uh, the slope the slope for my data points is 9.2 and the constant or intercept is 1.1 so it will of course be different corresponding to different sort of data points so for different data points you can get a different slope and a different intercept so you can do this either manually using pen or paper or you can do this using some kind of a program so this is how least square fitting method works you have a set of data points we do not necessarily fall in a straight line but then you use the least square method to obtain a straight line uh, whose slope you can find whose intercept you can find and then you can plot this particular a uh, straight line okay so let's do a little bit of a revision of what we have just now uh, seen so here we had a set of data points all right uh, that we wanted to fit into some kind of straight line we just found Found out the errors associated with each data point and then we define this quantity capital E which is a summation of the square of the errors and which is nothing but this expression here where fx I have assumed to be ax plus b now I need to mention that this derivation is going to be different if you take some other expression like ax square plus bx plus c which represents a parabolic curve or some other polynomial expression if you do that uh, uh, you, you will have to uh, uh, minimize it with respect to the other variable also so you'll get more number of uh, equations so, but in this case we have only done for a straight line so if you do it for a straight line you try to minimize this uh, with respect to a first and then with respect to b and then you obtain these two equations these two equations are the system of linear equations which you write it in matrix form and then if you solve it you obtain the slope and then you obtain the intercept and once you obtain the slope and the intercept you can plot the straight line corresponding to your set of data points that is all for today's video thank you very much